Welcome my dear students, welcome to them. We are going to learn about volume and surface area of a pyramid of frustration. So you are welcome to this volume lab lesson. Stay tuned up to the end. So in this question it says that the figure below shows a solid frustration A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. This is a frustration with the bottom dimension of 40 centimeter and 30 centimeter and top dimension of 24 centimeter by 18 centimeter and also you have been given that the height of the the height of the frost ram is 24 centimeter Therefore, the question wants us to find the height of the pyramid from which the first ram was made. So we need to find the height of the original pyramid, then the volume of the first ram, and finally we also find the surface area of the first ram. To begin with, So for us to get the height of the pyramid from which the first ram was made, we need to actually include the part that was removed. So we are going to draw part of its sketch. So that is it. Now from this point upwards, we need to find that height of the pyramid that was cut off. Then we find the total height. So in this case, we are going to use the knowledge of similar triangles, that is similarities. And in that case, we are going to compare the base so in this case, I have a smaller pyramid. Let me have this apex as V. So I have a smaller pyramid. And also, I have a bigger pyramid. So the big, bigger pyramid is A, B, C, D, V, all of it. And the smaller pyramid is uh, E, F, G, H, V. So using the knowledge of similar triangles, now I will end up getting the ratio of AB, that is the base length of the bigger pyramid, to the ratio of base length of the smaller pyramid FG will be equal to the height of the bigger pyramid. Let me call this M and this point n so the height of the bigger pyramid is mv mv all over to the ratio of the height of the smaller pyramid that is n v n v so ab is 40 centimeter all over fg is 24 will be equal to mv that is we have 24 that is the height of the pyramid plus the, I mean the first one plus the height of the pyramid that was cut off, which is 24 plus x, all over the height of the pyramid that was cut off, which is x. Then from this point, we cross multiply. So 40 times x, which is 40x, will be equal to 24 into bracket 24 plus x so we end up getting 40x will be equal to 24 times 24 that is 576 plus 24 times x which is 24x therefore i have 40x and minus 24 on both side so i have minus 24x will be equal to 570 6 40x minus 24x that is 16x which is equals to 576 
then divide both sides by 16 so you'll end up getting x will be equal to 576 divided by 16 I'm going to get 36 centimeter therefore the height of the frostram that is mv that is the height will be what that is 24 plus 36 so we end up getting the height as 60 centimeter so this is the height of the pyramid the original pyramid so we move on and for now we look at the volume of the frostrum volume of the frostrum so for us to get the volume of the frostrum will be the area i mean the volume of the bigger pyramid minus volume that is the volume of the bigger pyramid minus the volume of the smaller pyramid now in this case our bigger pyramid that is volume be given by volume of bigger pyramid minus volume of smaller pyramid now the bigger pyramid actually a third volume is given by a third times base area of the bigger pyramid that is a b times a b times b c then times the height the height big h minus a third times the smaller pyramid this is the base of the smaller pyramid that times fg times gh times the smaller height that is small h that is nv Therefore, we end up getting a third times AB is 40, BC is 30, HB, the height of the bigger pyramid, it is 60, as we get earlier. Then minus a third, FG is 24, times GH is 18, times small h which is 36 we go to that 6 therefore that times 40 times 30 times 60 we end up getting 24,000 minus a that times 24 times 18 times 36 we end up getting 5,184 so 24,000 minus 5,184, we end up getting 18,816 centimeters cube or cubic centimeter. So this is the volume of the frostum. Then from there, we move on and we look at the surface area surface area of the frostrum remember this is a solid frostrum remember this is a solid frostrum and in this case we need to find the area of the top part also the area of the bottom part and then the area of the slant faces which they are for therefore just to begin with allow me to make a a model or a net of this so we have this is the base 40 by 30 it is a 
B, C, D. Then you have those slant faces. And also the other part. You have the slant faces. So we have those land faces and here it is the top part that is 24 it is 24 40 it is 18 it is 18 from this particular point this is F it is F It is G, G, this point here we have H, and it's also H, then finally we have E, and this is E. And since this is also the top part of it, also the top part, we also have to include it, this particular point. And in that case, so here it is, E, which is connected to this point, and here it is H. That means GH, this is 18 centimeter, here it is 18 centimeter, and the other part is 24. So this is actually the service that we needed to find out as the service area of the program we need to look at but what approach shall we go through so that we are able to determine and get there and get the service area of the program now as we move on it is simply means that for us to get the service area, service area will be given by area of top, top part, this top part, then area of bottom part, and the area of slant faces, and therefore in numbers four faces two are similar pair of the slant faces are similar to one another now let us begin let us begin so to begin with to find the service area so let us get the area three of top will be given by that is F G times G H. It is actually rectangular in shape, so that is 24 times 18. We end up getting 432 centimeters squared. Then area of bottom. Area of bottom will be. AB times BC. AB is 40 centimeter times BC is 30 centimeter. So we get 1200 centimeter squared. We are looking at the service area. Then from this point, now we need to find the area of the slant faces the area of the slant faces and in this case I'm going to look at this face considering this face this face is equal to the other face since their base is 30 
and this also it is 30, so they are similar to each other. Also, this face, AB, GF, is similar to the other face, DC, HE. In that case, we needed to find the slant height of each rectangular part. So, to begin with, this V, and from there, now I have for to get the surface area of BCHG. BCHG. So in this case, I need to find service area of BCHG. In that case, I needed to find the area of all of this triangle that is triangle triangle BCV minus the area of triangle of triangle B G H V and for I to get this angle then I need actually to consider this point here so this is the perpendicular height which is 60 so from the base at this point let me call it M that is where the diagonal intersect M Therefore, draw this line up to this point such that from M to this point, call, let me call it P, I need to find the slant height, that perpendicular height of this triangle BCV. So this is a half of 40, which is 20. So I get a triangle such that it's 20 and this is 60 the height of the pyramid so i need to find length this height such that using pythagoras theorem it will be h b square root of 60 squared plus 20 squared whereby I end up getting so I will end up getting that is that 600 plus to this 400 which will be square root of 4000 so I get 63 0.25 centimeter then the smaller height which will be h that will be the square root of now at this particular point this length is a half of 24 which is 12 and the height is 36 therefore to get this height of this smaller triangle of this surface will be square root of 36 squared plus 12 squared which is the square root of 1440 I end up getting 37.95 centimeter then from there we can move on and now find the area of triangle BCV which will be given by a half times the base is 30 times the height which you have got here which is 63.25 minus a half times now the smaller tr triangle the base is 18 times 
point nine five. So if you work it out, a half times thirty times sixty three point two five, we shall end up getting seven fifty nine minus a third. I mean a half times eighteen times that seven point nine five shall end up getting minus three forty one point five five. So if you subtract, we end up getting four hundred and seventeen point four five. That is centimeter squared. And since this service, since this part is actually equivalent or similar to the other one, we are going to multiply by two. So thing we multiply by 2 whereby we shall end up getting 2.5 so this is the surface area of the two similar slant faces then we are remaining with the other face now we want to find the other face so now we need to find this face A, B, G, F, the surface area of A, B, G, F, and that of the other side, D, C, H, E, the other face behind D, C, H, E. So from there, also we do the same thing as we did earlier. So let me protrude or extend the part that was cut off. So in this case, I actually need to find. So let me just draw an overview of this part. That is A, B. G, F, and the vertex part V. By this is 24, this is 40. So I require to find the perpendicular height of the triangular face. Then I find the area of all of this part. The bigger tri triangle minus the area of the smaller triangle. Then I multiply by two scenes that are similar with the other face, DCHE. Therefore, surface area of ABGF will be given by area of triangle ABV. A, B, V minus area of triangle F, G, H, F, G, V. So in this case, I need to, actually this is the perpendicular height, let me call this L, and this point here, I call it, and this is N, and here it is N. Therefore, let me K. Then I have this is the slant, is that I require. At this point, let me call it L. Such that we have formed this triangle. This is L. This is N, V, and this is K, M. So I need to get KV, which will be the height of this triangular face. This is K, this is L. Let's move on and see what we shall get. So VM, that is the perpendicular height, which is 60. Vm, 
and it is a half of that to get this 15 15 15 15 this is 15 it is a half of 18 which will be 9 therefore we can be able to get k v which will be the square root of 15 squared plus 60 squared if you work it out you shall end up getting 61.85 centimeter also the same case we get for lv in this case this is 36 nv is 36 so for us to get also lv will be the square root of using pythagoras theorem that will be 9 squared plus 36 squared so which is the same as square root of 1377 which will be equal to 37.11 centimeter so now we have all these values so area of abv area of abv will be a half this is it's a triangle a half times 40 times this height that is kv and we got it here times 61.85 minus a half times now the base part of the smaller triangle that is fg which is 24 times it is 24 times 27.11 so if you work it out we shall get 12 37 minus the other part be 445.32 if we subtract we shall end up getting 791.68 but since this phase is similar to the other phase dche we multiply by 2 to get the total service area so we end up getting 15 1000 583.36 centimeter squared. Now it is a time now to add all of them. The service area of top 432, service area of bottom, that is 1200. Then we have the service area of the other sl slant faces that is 834.90 and finally we have 1583.36 so we had all of them together and if we add all of them so total service area total service area we have the area of top which is 432 that is the area of the top part then plus the area of bottom part a b c d we got us 1200 then the slant faces b c h g and a d e f we got us 834 point nine zero then lastly the other phase that we got was this value so we also add it that's one thousand five hundred and the, the eighty three point three six so if we had get six two zero five zero so 
the surface area is 4050.26 cm squared and that is it so thank you so much for paying attention to this i hope you have enjoyed this lesson thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe remember to comment remember to like and also share it thank you so much i'm mr musioki